AI agents are taking over and now they can run your computer. Let's get into it. So I'm going to show you how to actually install your own agents to run on your computer. You're going to run and install Docker. Uh, choose whatever one is right for you. I'm going to go ahead and install this. Should only take a few moments. Once this is installed, I'll show you the next step. Once you have the actual Docker window open, there are a few things we need to do. So we need to open up the terminal with Docker. All you do is just click on this and it should bring up the terminal. If you see something else that says enable, there should be like a little button down here in blue. It's kind of hard to see. Just click on this and then you'll have this pop open. From here, we'll need to use a little line of code, which I will drop in the description and we will need to get an API key. So we'll be getting both of those now. So I'm on Claude or Anthropic and I'm gonna create a API key and then use this code and replace this dollar sign anthropic API key, and then paste this into our Docker uh, terminal. So I'm gonna create a API key. All I went to was anthropic, create API key, and this was my API key. I am going to delete this, so if you're gonna waste time trying to copy it, go ahead. Uh, then I'm gonna replace this code, which was um, this dollar sign, let me go back one, this dollar sign, Anthropic API key and I'll have this code in the description. I'm just going to go ahead and paste this and then copy this whole code and paste it into my terminal. So I'll show you that. So we have our uh, terminal here. We're going to go ahead and paste this, push enter. And now it is pulling all of the information, downloading it. And uh, once this is done downloading, this is where the magic happens. I have this little thing that pops up. I'm going to go ahead and approve it. And now we have a little thing running. And in a second here, I'll show you what the next steps are. All right, so it is finished. And as you can see here, it says open port local 88 in your browser. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And now we have our little demo. So let me actually pull that up so you guys can see this. So we have our Claude use demo. And it says, security alert, never provide access to sensitive account information as malicious websites can hijack clock behavior. So this is where the fun begins. As you can see, I have a kind of Excel, I have a terminal, I have Firefox, I have Paint I see, some a calculator and some other things I can toggle the screen actually, and uh, click on these. So terminal, Firefox, XPaint, PDF viewer, get it, and a calculator. So let's go ahead and run some commands. So like, Let's think of a task we can have Claude do. All right, so I said, find me the top five Amazon products for the holiday season and create a spreadsheet for those products. So it's gonna be running these agents. It is now using my computer. It was opening Firefox. And it has opened Firefox. It is searching the web. Amazon top holiday products. Here it is. This is insane. This is hands free too. So it's opening Excel. Wow. So it's going to close this window, I think. Might need a little help. I'm gonna. Oh, I think it got caught. All right. So let me create a spreadsheet. So it's creating the spreadsheet now. It's moving the merch. <laughs> Product name. Category. Description. This is amazing. Tinted moisturizer. So it's, a, it's doing multiple. This is crazy. I wonder if they can do it to hyperlink it too. Has moon toys, beauty. So it's doing more than I ask. 
because I said type top five, and I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Insane. Now it's gonna save this PDF. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh, okay, so I hit my limit. You have reached your limit. So obviously there's a limit on uh, I did too many things. But I'm only on the first tier, maybe the free tier. So as you can see, it's doing all this. But I could probably just be like, please continue. And we'll see what it, where, where we are. It might just be... Uh, it might be good. Yeah, there it is. Just saved it. So now we have our, uh, our, we're done, I think. Well, I hit my limit again, but it looks like, I mean, it did everything I needed. It completed the project. Let's ask it to actually now add hyperlinks to this. I don't think it can, but why not? Link back to each of these products. I don't know if it's going to work, but let's give it a go. All right, so it looks like we're running into some errors, but I mean, this is just like the first kind of steps of where this is going. I mean, when things get cheaper, when things get better, I mean, you can see this is a MVP or a minimum viable product, but it does like what it asked me to do. And this is just like the first steps in this. I mean, this is pretty insane. We can shut this off and help it. But I mean, could you imagine if like with Apple intelligence or our phones, like what the power of this is, this is insane. So it only cost me 38 cents. And as you can see, there is a request of 50 per minute. So at the current rate, which is kind of lame, but, uh, as you know, things get better and improve and uh, things become cheaper, this request per minute, I think, is going to be increased quite a bit. And we'll just be able to, you know, I mean, look at this. It wasn't that expensive. Let's check out the, so right here, 225 tokens used uh, and this many tokens out. You can see that Anthropic, I don't, or Claude, I don't use it very often but I might start using it when if they're coming out with some amazing agents like this, especially, I mean, obviously the other uh, large language models are going to follow suit because they want to stay uh, with the competition. When one releases something like artifacts or uh, you know these different little things like canvas, then they're gonna model each other and that's what's going on now. So I, I know there's been a big talk in AI agents. Now we're seeing the first, I guess, renditions of them. So it's very exciting in this new uh, AI world. And I'm excited to share it with you guys. So until next time, remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.